Hello guys, if you have been following my works on Facebook and also on our YouTube channel, you will definitely know that I've built several um, numbers of inverter system, most especially the square wave inverter system and I've been able to use the SG series to achieve this development. I've been using the um, SG3525 and also SG3524 to make my development and when I make this development, they work out perfectly as per design. challenge I'm facing is um, more or less um, that of um, the feedback. I've developed a couple of the design. As you can see, this, this is one of the designs so far. It's just a very compatible one I built just to test run some of the system, some of the transformer and some of um, the features I integrated into this system. For instance, I added a, a 10 volt shutdown. The system has its own features but I added especially a 10 volt um, shut down. Once the battery um, the battery being used goes down to 10, the system will automatically shut down. And the system, um, the HG series has um, 8, 8 volt shutdown. But 8 volt is not kind of um, um, cool and protective to the battery. So that was why I have to modify it using um, the IC and lots of um, configurations I made in my design. And the reason why I've not been able to publish my design is simply because I've not yet gotten, um, will I say, a completed and a working prototype. And that was why I'm still um, in a wait to publish it. I've been publishing several of my circuits once I have the working properly. So I do the same in all of my design. But just for this particular inverter system, I'm having the issue of um the feedback and that 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 is exactly why i'm making out this video and bringing it to your notice in case you have any idea any possible idea i could um touch you should um give me some suggestion i think i would love that so i'll go ahead and test this system and then we we'll see how it works okay so i from the um, ultimate power supply develop is on standby the red light indicates i've not yet powered the system so i have to trigger the system here then i will have the system running so the green light indicates power is coming power is, is led out on the output so from what we have we have the square wave signal and if you look closely i just i'm going to zoom it was i'm sure with the whole video is 50 hertz though 48 point 50 something basically 50 hertz and i can further adjust it if need be i can further adjust the frequency if need be all right let me see what I okay it's exactly at 50 hertz square wave signal and now i'm going to test um i'm going to test the voltage the shutdown so currently you know i'm basically using this small transformer to carry out the operation so it's not going to carry much load so that's why i'm using a very um, low power um, 220 volts LED bulb. So I'm going to reduce the voltage and we are going to see what happens at the shutdown. So I'm gradually reducing the voltage. You saw that? I was kind of fast in turning it. So at 9.9 .9 or will I say at 10 volts, the system will automatically shut down. So we have it at 10 volt is 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 on now or will i say 10.2 volts at least that's the um the triggering re um, level so at will i say 10 volt or 10.2 volt the system get properly um triggered and then bringing out um 220 volt so the challenge i'll be facing is um the feedback and i'm going to be dropping um a part of the circuit on the whatsapp uh, group i don't think we're going to be doing much on the facebook group so on the whatsapp group i'm going to be dropping um the the circuit and i would need your suggestions on how i can touch or trigger the system i've tried several configurations and still i'm having some slight issues so what i'm currently using is sg3525 and i will need your suggestions to make this work thank you and i will see you on the whatsapp platforms do have a blissful day